The Amazing Marie Curie. Marie Curie was born in Warsaw on November 7, 1867, which was then part of the Russian Empire. She was the daughter of a secondary school teacher. University education for women was not allowed in Russia at the time, so Curie left to pursue her degrees at the University of Paris in 1891. She then met Pierre Curie, professor in the School of Physics in 1894, and in the following year they were married. She succeeded her husband as head of the physics laboratory at the Sorbonne, gained her Doctor of Science degree in 1903, and following the tragic death of Pierre Curie in 1906, she took his place as Professor of General Physics in the Faculty of Sciences, the first time a woman had held this position. She was also appointed director of the Curie Laboratory in the Radium Institute of the University of Paris, founded in 1914. Her early researches, together with her husband, were often performed under very difficult conditions. Laboratory arrangements were poor and both had to undertake much teaching to earn a livelihood. The Curies discovered two new elements, polonium, named after Murray's birth country, and radium. Madame Curie developed methods for the separation of radium from radioactive residues. During World War I, Curie served as the director of the Red Cross Radiology Service, treating over one million soldiers with her X-ray units. She was assisted by her daughter, Irene. Madame Curie, quiet, dignified, and unassuming, was held in high esteem and admiration by scientists throughout the world. Despite her success, Marie continued to face great opposition from male scientists in France. Together with her husband, she was awarded half of the Nobel Prize for physics in 1903 for a study into spontaneous radiation. In 1911 she received a second Nobel Prize, this time for chemistry, in recognition of her work in radioactivity. By the 1920s her health was beginning to deteriorate. Madame Curie died in France on July 4th, 1934. Her work showed that if cells from tumors were exposed to radium, they could be destroyed. This was the beginning of the work on treating cancer with radiation. In 1921, a dispensary devoted to fighting cancer was established at the Curie Foundation. Some of Curie's notes are still radioactive. They are kept in the center of historical resources of the Curie Museum in Paris.